Welcome back to my channel on the designing, the building, and the sailing of my 7 meter or 23 foot Sharpie. In this video, I'll show how I built the dagger board. It's a ballasted dagger board with a bulb. I'll show how I built it out of red beech timber, how I feared it up, blasted it, and feared it, and um, how I came to get the bulb instead of having to cast it. Here I'm making the trailing edge solid glass um, laminate of timber glass timber. Okay, ready to do the second to last part of making the sandwich for the dagger board with the lead ballast hanging on the bottom. Um, you can hear in the background a little fantail. Where are you? It's up there. These are birds in New Zealand that go after insects and they hang around you. These are the holds for the um, 12 millimeter or half inch bolts that'll go through to the lead on the bottom and tie into the lifting plate on the top. I was a little bit short of material that's why I had to make these N3 a little bit um, slimmer but um, that'll work out all right. Um, just one more glue joint to do tomorrow. And for the templates, I've printed out um, one to one, two end templates and one that I can slide up and down. Um, I've got the templates on the end. I think I've seen a better method for fairing up the timber since I started this project, but this is how I did it. It has to be really fair because I'm going to use the dagger board as a mould for the dagger board case. I'm making some fiberglass bushes that will be inserted into the dagger board and we'll have bolts going through them to hold the keel down. I'm under no illusion how strong these bushes have to be and the bolts that go through them um, on a sail down the coast on my last trailer sailor um, was a bit choppy and um, sailing into it for hours um, the bolts got bent that went through the dagger board so I've capped the ends before I put the uni and biaxial on the outside for the full length just needs a little bit of fairing and the capping involve wrapping glass around the corners so i'm going to square those up and uh, that's what all this orange plating is so i can just put the filler on the corners all ready to go for the three layers of glass two layers of uni 100 grams one biax to finish off with which kind of went on okay but every time i flipped it over would fall off the other side so I had to start taping it and clamping it certainly added to the time and it was a total pain in the ass to be honest before I do the fairing of the dagger board the ballasted dagger board I'm making up a template which I printed off my CAD drawing
Oh, that one turned out really good. I've come up with this method of um, putting tape on this forming, I've got two of them, forming batten and um, putting glue underneath on the board, lightly clamping it down. I use the combination of methods to fair and check for fair. I really, there really can't be any hollows, otherwise it will jam in the casing because the casing is going to be quite a close fit. I'm only using about 0.7 of a millimeter as a spacing sheet between the board and the casing when I manufacture it. Black powder as a guide coat, it really works very well. It also works really well to put it on the batten that you're checking for fairness with. It'll rub off on the high points. I wish I thought of this idea a little bit sooner when I was trying to painstakingly clear up the leading edge of the dagger board. Well, as usual, there's always a challenge. Um, I was wondering if the stainless steel went down into the bulb. Looks like they've built it properly. This. Um, the bulb sure wasn't going to fall off, but unfortunately I blunted the blade when I was cutting up to here, hit the stainless steel, and then I thought, oh no, now what? Because I want a router out for the bottom of the um, dagger board. Um, not going to route a stainless steel, and I don't know how deep it goes. Um, very likely it goes right down into the bulb. So got me thinking um, and it, I came up with a solution possibly in that what, this was going to be the top of the bulb with the dagger board coming down here bolted through um, but what I've decided to do is probably well my initial reaction is to cut this off trim it up with a grinder uh, where the stainless is and make this the bottom of the bulb and um, route out the other side so the bottom becomes the top. I actually got really lucky with um, finding this sled. I w had hardly looked and locally a guy was advertising a Nolex 30 um, lead bulb which he was selling for scrap and I thought oh well I'll have to melt it down and um, make the ballast shape that I wanted but as I was looking at it I was thinking maybe the bulb itself is about the right weight for the boat and um, it turned out to be pretty exactly right so it saved me a lot of work um, I didn't really want a bulb originally I was going to extend the profile of the um, dagger board so that raised it would fit right up into the boat but that has its pluses and minuses and um, I would have liked to have been able to sit the boat on a sandy beach and not have a bulb underneath there. But I can live with how it will be. Yeah, so I made this um, scaffold yesterday. To be able to lift the lead 
240 kgs or thereabouts and so I can put it up on a platform where I can work on it certainly a bit of work required I've got to maybe chisel off this part here and get it a bit fair thanks for watching there will probably be a part two to the manufacture of the um, dagger board and bulb and its assembly I've already undercoated the um, dagger board which was a necessity because the next video will be on the um, construction of the casing that will be glassed into the boat to support the dagger board. See you next time.